The taxi industry has called for urgent measures to be implemented at taxi ranks countrywide as COVID-19 takes root. This comes after the president called on all South Africans to take responsibility for the safety of themselves and others. Let's cross now to our reporter, Mariketla Moshaibe, who is at a taxi rank himself. Where exactly, he'll tell us. So, Mariketla, which part of Johannesburg are you and what are you seeing? Yeah, well, Tepi, so we are at uh, Bree Taxi Rank in Johannesburg. We know that this is one of the busiest uh, taxi ranks in the province at this time of the day. And of course, this is peak hour where we see every taxi moving in and out and of course all loading uh, commuters here and of course what we understand is that almost every hour about a thousand people are coming out of this particular area of course going back uh, to their respective uh, uh, family homes after uh, reporting for their workplaces but let's just get a sense of what they know about coronavirus of course they are aware of it but what exactly are they doing about it let me just speak to one of the commuters here ma'am thanks so much for your time just tell me what are you doing to protect yourself from this uh, particular virus it's very easy when you are somebody that believes in cleanliness my motto is cleanliness is next to godliness so coronavirus won't caught me off guard because I make it my lifestyle to wash my hands all the time. So it's like, why are you saying wash hands? What was everybody doing all the time? Why must it be now wash hands? It's what we've been doing. And I make sure I boost my immune system. There is plenty of um, businesses that offer uh, organ- organic and and. Um, products that are good for your immune system so prevention is better than cure if you have been using preventative measures before you are not scared i'm not scared because i've got my easy life products i get my alkaline water these things they clean my system i get my jiang jiling from easy life Okay, just talk to me. You are going to get into one of these taxis now. Mm-hmm. And what I've seen earlier on, there's that, that exchange of money from the back seat. The money will go to the front seat. And of course, a change will be coming back. And that's the normal procedure we normally see in the taxis. Are you not worried? There was that call by the president last night to say that we must avoid physical uh, contact at all costs. But in this case, it's hard to actually avoid that physical conduct there is no way we are going to avoid it this is south africa we work hand in hand we pass fruit we pass veggies this is how we roll when we get home we wash our hands what can go wrong you get home you know the first thing you do is to wash your hands and disinfect or whatever keep the place clean this is how it goes nothing is going to happen to us i promise you I'm going to get into this taxi and I'm going to get home fine. Wash my hands, make sure my place is clean. Thanks so much and all the best uh, ahead of your journey, man. Uh, let, let, let's speak to one of the Q Marshals here. Yeah. He's been here since yeah. the morning. And of course, what about two opening two the battle? doors, closing the doors, directing the people into the taxis. Baba, thanks so much for your time. We are talking about the issue of coronavirus here. And of course, uh, I've spoken to some of, the, of your colleagues Uh, mentioning their concerns about hygiene at the taxi rank. Do you actually share that particular concern as well? Yes, this corona is very dangerous. We're checking, we're checking. You can't say nothing, it's checking. Because I close, I open the door like that. And you get in. And when I finish to get in, I ask you, where you go on this side, where you go on this side, and I close. Always I touch, touch, touch. Always. It's better to get uh, gloves and uh, motors. But, but you've been working here without those gloves. What has been done to actually uh, really get you uh, those particular um, personal protective equipment? I must try to get uh, everything to, to make sure. Yeah. But, uh, 
Thanks. Right. Thanks so much, Baba. All right. All the best. Let, let's try and speak to some of the commuters. I hope they will be speaking to us. Hello, we are live on SABC. We're just talking about coronavirus here. We just want to hear what are you doing to actually keep yourself protected? We sanitize our hands every time. Sanitation. Yeah. Sanitation all the time. Is that what you're sharing, uh, MM? <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. Of course, uh, those are some of the commuters here at Sepiso saying that uh, sanit sanit sanitizers need to be dis distributed here at some of these taxi ranks. And of course, we heard earlier on uh, by the Minister of Transport, Figilim Balula, saying that there are plans actually in place to actually come uh, through this particular um, taxi ranks as well as... Uh, 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 trains uh, to actually uh, deal with this issue and of course I'm just gonna quote to what to, uh, to what he said earlier on saying that we will engage with everybody and issue instructions among others in our space we will uh, we guard Prasa which will undergo and perform sanitization in all our trains uh, of course the social distance will affect us in terms of trains and taxis that that includes education in relation to this but over and above that random testing will be applied in all the taxi ranks and trains and I think that's an important message that actually came throughout uh, that particular briefing we saw together uh, with other ministers uh, on our SABC channel 404 but uh, for now we will bring it back to you in studio just very quickly, has there been a reduction of activity at the taxi rank especially seeing there's a call for social distancing Of course, I mean, that's what uh, some of the commuters are actually uh, complaining about, to say that there's really nothing they can do. I mean, this is more or less contact occasion in, in, in a sense that they will have to just sit next to each other, exchange that particular money when they actually uh, travel to their various de um, uh, destinations. And what I heard earlier on from some of the people that tend to sit in front of the uh, taxi or the seat, rather, uh, they are saying that, of course, uh, when that particular moment comes of actually giving back the change to some of the fellow commuters, it's a worrying factor because they are no sanitizers inside the taxi and also there is actually no plan apparently uh, to actually help them uh, to mitigate this particular issue but according to some of them are saying that they are probably lucky because they are actually reporting for duty they are employed what about those that are not employed that do not have any job they cannot afford uh, to buy these sanitizers or even these gloves and of course a call by them is that really government needs to do something about this and perhaps as we heard from the minister of transport saying that they will Maraketla, come thank you very much we're going to have to end it there Maraketla Mustabe, our uh, reporter who is live at Bree Street uh, taxi rank